Okay. Go on, Zed. Go. Woo, jump command. Is it? Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Not too long ago, I passed the topic exam for the first time and I finally got my result. But before revealing it, I will first explain what is the topic exam and the context of my very first test. Okay, now I'm sure now you know what the topic exam is because I talk about it a lot in my previous video. But if you still don't know, don't worry, I will explain it here in details for one last time. So TOPIC is the official Korean proficiency test. You have to get it if you want to. Study in Korea as a regular student, get a job in a Korean company, if you want to get the long-term resident visa, and I think even if you want to get married to a Korean, you should have the TOPIC level 1. So the really beginner level. To explain, this test happens six times a year in Korea and four times a year um, in in foreign country. It's a bit confusing because there is two different topic exams. The beginner level, which is topic one, and you have level one and level two, and the intermediate and advanced level called topic two, which um, includes level three, four, five, and six. Topic one has just two sessions, reading and listening part, while topic two has three sessions, listening, writing and reading. Topic one happen in the morning and topic two is during the afternoon of the same day. Some people pass the two exams the same day, but I don't really recommend it since it's really draining. Somewhere here, I will insert the grading grid for each different level. And as you can see for topic level two, if you get under 120 points, you can fail the test actually. You don't get topic one because in order to get topic one, you need to pass the different test. And if you want to get accepted in a Korean university, you need to get at least level three, so topic two, level three. But for some major, university can ask you level four, five, or even six. As you know, when I announced my series Road to SNU, I told you I needed at least topic level three to get accepted in SNU, but here is the thing. Actually, I just discovered recently that I need topic level 5. But when I decided to pass my first exam, I didn't knew that. Last year, when I planned my year, I decided that I wanted to take the test two times. One in January and one in May. The one in January was actually to get to know the exam. So, And the one in May, I wanted to get really serious to have my final result for um, the SNU admission. So when I went to my first exam, I was a bit relaxed. I didn't prepare that much. First, because it was just a training test, a mise en bouche to get to know the exam. And because just before the exam, I happened to go to Jeju, then I fell sick and just after it was the exam, so I had no time to study seriously. To be honest, I just relied on my Korean class knowledge and I just did one online test and that's it. But I was really lucky because in my Korean class, they explained pretty well the details of the topic exam, especially for the writing part. So yeah, you know how the context of my first exam Ever. And here are some tips uh, if you want to pass the exam for the first time. So I'm looking here because I have my note. So yeah. So number one, study before going. Don't be like me. Um, some people do self-study actually and I don't really recommend it because uh, topic is actually a really specific exam and there is specific rules. So if you study by yourself, you can miss this rule. For the writing part, for example, or even for the reading and listening question, they can be really tricky. So if you don't know the nuance, um, it will be really hard to, to get a good grade for your first topic. But if you really can't afford topic class or tutor, um, you can buy topic book. But this topic book needs to be really good about explaining uh, how the topic exam is. Oh, and also more than the grammar, you really need the vocabulary. Two, come early, because Korean tests are really strict. If you're one minute late, they won't let you get in. You need to get there for 12.20 because the test starts at 1 p.m. Please come way before 12.20. Like you arrive at 12.21 and you're out. Three, 
They give you the pen, but take with you the white tape in case you make a mistake. Four, bring your water with you. You don't want to get stuck with an uncontrollable cough, like as it always happened during exam, isn't it? And also bring some snack for the short break for topic two, because you will need strength. Like topic two is actually three hour and a half long. Five, if you don't know an answer, stick to 1k like you know in the end of the test it's question for advanced level but if you're intermediate you won't know every answer so stick to 1k's and you will have a correct answer in the lot so stick to one letter and for me the answer is always c six um good luck for the listening part Practice is the only way to get out of it. I don't have any tips for this one. Seven, writing part. <laughs> for the writing part, there is four questions and not that many times, so you have to be quick. Uh, for the first two questions, take five minutes, and the answer is generally in the end of the text. For question three, it's a graph, so you need to train before going to the test because it's generally the same um the same sentence building so i think 15 minutes for this part is enough then for the big writing you have half an hour and yeah you just write 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 and please for this part write more than 350 words because if you write less than this number they won't even take the time to read it eight is it eight yeah eight yeah, eight. Sorry, I was stuck. For the reading part, the answer is generally in the first two sentences or last two sentences of the text. So don't read everything except if you feel stuck because like sometimes the answer can be in the middle. But generally it's in the first or last part of the text. And nine... Oh, counting is really hard. So nine... Relax. I know after all I said, it might seem really stressful, but please don't be. Like, you'll ace it because you love Korea and doing things with passion always bring good results, right? So, as I said, I need topic 5 to get accepted in Seoul National University. And since I need to start the admission process in July, I need to get it before July, so my exam period is in May. Yeah, so less than two months and a half. So without surprise, my goal is to have level 5 and to be sure to get it, I will actually target level 6 and if I don't have level 6, I won't be mad at it because my first goal is to get level 5, so it might be confusing saying like this, but yeah, you get the point. <laughs> But you still don't know my actual level, right? So, shall we see the results? Okay. Are you uh, stress stressing? Yes, I'm super <laughs> stressed. I, I I already forgot I had to speak in English. You 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 don't uh, function normally. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> when was I born? I don't even remember that. <laughs> okay. Go on the. Oh. Ooh, jump on one. Is it? Sadu! I'm level four! <laughs> yeah, li, li, li. Hey, hey, writing. Yeah, yeah, look at my oh, writing. Oh, listening, you're really good at listening. Yeah, I told you the listening was really. I mean, reading is always good. But even this reading, good. I'm I'm yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, good, good better than the average. Mm. Even even uh, writing, you're better than the average. average. Because I didn't have time. <gasps> my, I'm level four, guys, <laughs> and it's my first topic. And I, okay, I don't, I, I should not say that, but I didn't study for it. Yes, <laughs> I, didn't I didn't study at all because we were we were in Jeju just before, and. It was my birthday, and yeah. Then after I was sick, so yeah, I I didn't study at all. Oh my God, I'm level four over six, and I was even I was not okay. even expected having level three. Like I was, oh, I will have pull up kirk, I will have pull up kirk, like fail. But no, I'm level four. Okay, so I just need one more to have level five. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so happy. That was my first topic ever. And next time it will be 
May with her. She will take the topic serum with me. 73. Three? Oh, okay. yeah, 73. So you need. Hey, it's not bad. Like ten... I'm a really good level 4 actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're really level 4. So I think level 5 it's okay for Yeah, in like 3 months it will be okay because I will have my level 5 class. Hmm. Yeah! Easy. You can do it easy. Level yeah, just five. level 6 maybe not, but but level 5 it, it was my goal this year. Oh, I'm so happy guys! Okay, bye! <laughs> okay, bye! <laughs>